All right, this is just a quick little update. We'll see how sick I can make everybody from running around with this in my hand and hand holding this. So this is going to be quick, unedited, and I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, from the couple of comments that I got on the last video I put out on working on the 701 and from several private emails that I got from guys, uh, apparently a bunch of people didn't realize that, yes, I do have an experimental aircraft going together. Uh, it's a Zenith 701 two-place high wing. This has turned into a long-term project. I started this several years ago. And I can give you 10,000 excuses as to why it hasn't made it any farther than it has. But anyway, I'm trying to get back on it. So we're going to see a lot more content on that. So I thought I'd just do a quick walk around. I just now hosed off the fuselage outside. It's been sitting outside. And I uh, thought you guys might like to see it. So I'm going to turn around. I'll flip you up. I've got the, the wings for what they are hanging here. Uh, I talked yesterday about the slats and the flapperons. Um, I've got them hanging on the walls. And I've got a bunch of other pieces. I've got the... The blank for the landing gear is leaning up in the corner. It has to be bent yet. I'll be bending that up here before too long. Um, and this is a plans built or a scratch built aircraft. This is, did not come from a kit. So I've been, you know, I ordered a set of plans and that's what we're building off of. So let me flip this around and I'll show you what we got going on. Okay, here's wings hanging in the inside. Now this is a wing skeleton for the, let's see, this is going to be the right hand wing that we're seeing the skeleton of. Uh, the one behind it is the left hand wing. It's completely skinned. It's clecoed on the top. This top section is clecoed in. Uh, the bottom is riveted on and the nose is riveted on except where it meets the the top skin. So that's where we're at with that. And let me go outside and I'll show you the fuselage here. We've got, well, and this is this is one of the slats here. Right there. And there's my slat jig talked about it yesterday. What I did is I cut off the end. Of the, it was screwed down just to a piece of plywood that I had, which it still is, but it extended out the bottom. It was or extended out one end. It was a full length piece of plywood ripped to, to that width that was from another project, so I didn't bother. So what I did is I ended up and cut it off so it's flush on both ends now instead of just on the one end. And then I hosed it down and clamped it to my little table I had sitting out there. And now it's just flat as can be. You know, I'm just uh, I'm just happy as can be with it because it's got no rock to it at all. And just to make sure when I form up that uh, that last um, slat, why I'll go ahead and just screw it down to the table. So anyway, let's go, go out and do a quick walk around to the fuselage. All right, we're out here in the sunlight, so I don't know how much we're going to be able to really see in all this. We'll go ahead and walk all the way around, and hopefully most of it will not be too washed out. Uh, this is the left-hand side, of course, and uh, this is the status to right now and if we look up at the elevator there's a little dink on the back corner of that now when I uh, when I get back and redo that to redoing that why that and the uh, the elevator and the stabilizer or stabilator I think they call it both um, I'm gonna go ahead and probably put nut plates in the end of those I'm gonna put about probably four in the in the front portion and probably three on the back. The reason being that way I can experiment with it later on as time goes on. I think it benefits from uh, having fences on the outside edge and uh, John Austin actually has done that on his 750 and uh, I think it gains him a little bit plus it, uh, it's it got a cool look to it. So I think if I put nut plates on there why that gives me the option of, of starting out with it in its basically stock configuration and uh, then we can experiment as time goes on after we've got it flying for a little bit. So anyway, we just got on a little dolly. We don't have wheels and tires underneath it yet, or our axle. Um, internally, and it's dirty. I just pressure washed it off, and it holds all the crap inside, so it's dirty in here. We've got brake pedals and brakes are in. We're using the standard Y stick. I uh, I designed and built my own flap system. That uh, this originally had the the. Uh, little bar that came out and you manually lifted it and hooked it and I didn't care for that so we redesigned this and uh, of course it's not wanting to move now it sat out here long enough I'll have to clean that up and get that going but it's spring loaded and it's got uh, four positions so Zenith had uh, has their own flap system of that but they wanted to sell a complete kit if I would have if I would have been able just to get the drawings for that like you can for the most of the rest of the stuff why I would have uh, probably just used their drawings Anyway, we're going to hang a Corvair off the front of it, and this is just a mock-up here for our engine mount and everything. This will all get, a, get pulled off and cleaned up and set up the way it should be, hopefully. Uh, I've got the fifth bearing that I cast my own fifth bearing for that. We've got to finish machining it, and 
and we'll uh, we're going to run this in on a test stand to make sure we've got a got a uh, viable option for an engine here. This aircraft will be heavy with the Corvair. It's a little bit overweight for it. William Wynn has done some work. He's he's the guru for um, Corvairs anyway, and he has done one with a 701. It was kind of a flash in the plan. They stay, still can be done, and I know of a couple others that have been built and flown with Corvairs in them. Um, they're pretty heavy, so we've tucked it back pretty much as close as we can to the firewall, and uh, you know there's still a little bit of a little bit of eyeball engineering to do to it, but I think we've got a we've got a viable aircraft. So anyway, you can see a lot more content on this just because I want to I want to get this done. We've got several things have changed around here now, and hopefully I can. Um, devote a little more time and resources to it and uh, we'll have an airplane. So anyway, hopefully you find it interesting. Comments, suggestions, always welcome. Leave them for me in the comment section for me below and as always guys, thanks for taking the time to watch.